Okay, bro, it's now here in the Mediterranean. And in this video, I wanna explain why small things added together make a big difference in your game and in the results you get, right? If you wanna get that beautiful girl, you need to do the small things well. It's not just about the big things, like for example, attraction, right? What I mean by this, what do I mean by the small things? So right now, we're in the Mediterranean, right? And I'm here to rest with my family. We were in a villa before this one. And the first one was a good, was a good villa, but this one is super luxury. And if you look at the villas, they're both got a swimming pool, they're both about the same size. But what's the big difference? It's the small things, right? That added together make a huge difference, right? When you walk in this luxury one, you're just at ease, everything, the lights are automatic. You walk in the toilets, the lights come on, right? In your bedroom, everything's accessible. When you wake up, you can turn on the light switch within reach, right? Whether the first villa, there were some things that they didn't get right and hence why this one is more expensive to stay in. So anyway, going back to my point about the interactions is the small things, for example, your fashion, the way you've cut your beard, right? The way you speak, the way you smile, the way you walk, the way you look into her eyes. These are all small things added together make a huge difference. If one of them is not on point, they're not gonna make a big difference by itself. Let's say if everything else you're doing well, but one thing, for example, your beard, right? If you're having a bad beard day, that's not gonna make a big difference, right? I've had interactions, some of my best interactions, I remember this Russian girl I dated and I cut my beard in the wrong way and I was actually quite upset. I was like, fuck man, how, how did I even cut it like that? I look so bad. And th that day I attracted one of the hottest girls I've ever dated. So I'm not saying here everything needs to be perfect, but you need to work on each small thing. And that's what I do with my clients, by the way. We work on a goal. It could be a significant goal, like building attraction, or it could be a small goal, like your positioning, your body positioning, when you're talking to a girl, your eye contact, right? So this is what you gotta work on, getting the small things right, because added together, they'll make a huge difference in your results. Now, what I want you to do right now is write down three things you could improve in your game. Three things, it could be my eye contact's not on point. It could be, you know, I'm not teasing well. It could be the way I walk. I don't like the way I walk, right? I don't like my posture. So write these three things down and write down how you can change them. And for the next few weeks, I want you to work on these one at a time. So if your posture is a problem, go to a chiropractor, you know, check out videos about posture and do gym exercises. If you can't tease, check out my video on teasing and work on one go at a time. Don't overcomplicate it. You know, what you don't want to do is work on like five things at once because that way you don't know what to focus on. It's kind of like bodybuilding, you know. Uh, if a professional bodybuilder goes into the gym, they're not gonna be working on biceps, triceps, you know, legs and abs at the same time. They're gonna be focused on a specific muscle, maximum two, and they're gonna be working on that to increase the size. So that's what you wanna do in dating as well. You wanna focus on one, two things max. If you're really new, just one and simple. Write down the goal, Write down how you can improve that goal. Go out and just practice it and practice it until you get that you know, goal achieved. Then you move on to the next goal. All right, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button now and I'll catch you next video, baby. Enough. <laughs>